My obsession with sled dogs began as a joke with a Jack Russell Terrier who had no limits and the mentorship of Rick and Kate St. Ange. I soon had a small recreational team of my own and shelves of books dedicated to the history of sled dogs in America. Trouble was brewing for every Tidewater dog strong of muscle with warm, long hair from Puget Sound to San Diego. Men, groping in the Arctic darkness, had found a yellow metal. And because steamship and transportation companies were booming the find, thousands of men were rushing into the Northland. These men wanted dogs. And the dogs they wanted were heavy dogs with strong muscles by which to toil and furry coats to protect them from the frost. The Call of the Wild by Jack London. Prior to airplanes and snow machines, dogs were essential to human survival in snow-laden parts of the world. Dogs were to the north what the horse was to the plains. Artist Viral Goodnight is exploring this new frontier in Western art. She was inducted into the National Cowgirl Hall of Fame in 2016 for 50 years of depicting the American West in both bronze and paint. Today she's committed to adding the largely unknown stories of the many roles sled dogs have played in America's history to the Western narrative. Like so many of us, Call of the Wild influenced Burl as a child. It was not until recent research, however, that she realized the black market for dogs was a reality during the 1898 Klondike Gold Rush. Jack London's words haunted her imagination, and she began collecting photos of dogs that would have been likely candidates for theft. Hot on a cold trail, so to speak, Verl commissioned the reproduction of a sled with plow handles and had leather collar harnesses made for her own team of dogs. Research took her on multiple winter adventures to Alaska, including several days in Denali National Park, the North Woods of Minnesota, the National Postal Museum in Washington, D.C., and the Klondike Gold Rush National Parks in both Seattle, Washington and Skagway, Alaska. In her final preliminary drawing, Vril emphasized the diversity of the stolen dogs by using a still life approach set against the northern lights. The painting is just shy of seven feet long, a scale that allows us to look into the eyes of each dog so they can tell their own story. Newfoundlands. St. Bernard. And Great Pyrenees were among the most desired breeds on the black market, as were dogs born in the Northland. With their eyes fixed on the horizon, a thousand mile stare became the hallmark of the gold seekers. Outside dogs had to learn fast from their northern cousins. They had to understand their contract with man and that wisdom had to be gained quickly if they were to survive. Mushing is an important part of American history, but until now has seldom been a part of Western art. The Gold Rush Dogs, a tribute to the dogs who enable our dreams. <laughs> <laughs> 